I was in a game against Geelong United and uh, I was playing for the Singapore Armed Forces. We both just jumped to head the ball and, and he headed my head. And the next thing I knew I was kind of on the ground and I could hear people saying things which obviously panicked me. This was similar to what a car crash might have been. The front of my brain was bleeding because the, the brain hit the skull at, with such impact, it had caused the, front, the frontal lobe to, to hemorrhage. And I broke just about every bone in the front of my face. Uh, my eye sockets were completely compressed, I could barely see. I was distraught. I was upset about the fact that football was probably not going to be what I would be doing any, any longer, which was something I'd done since you know, eight, nine years old. But then as I started to recover more, I, I started to kind of really understand that my career path was probably going to be changing. Because I previously played professional football and I had a lot of local friends and a lot of expat friends and they would both kind of ask me to connect them manually. So my expat friends would say, hey, does, does any of your teammates, uh, friends or family know how to fix this or do this? Um, and on the, on the opposite side, my, uh, my teammates would ask me, does any of your friends outside of football need anything doing? I was always quite entrepreneurial as an athlete, to be honest, even when I was very young at school. It's not really a switch you turn on and off, I think it just is within me. I like to create, I like to solve problems, I like to build, I like to bring people together. OV in general, I think, kick-started some of the things I'm doing. It gave me confidence to know I'm, I'm actually not crazy. We've built a service what adds value, we can do this again. It was a springboard for me to, to kind of start to build more things. The lessons I learned as an athlete, they prepared me for what was to come afterwards. And I think looking back now, I, I really understand that at that point, I was probably a little bit depressed. You know, I, I didn't really want to eat. I didn't want to get up. I couldn't get up for a lot, large parts. And I think that was just because I, I knew I had such a long road ahead of me. It was just really daunting. But I, I didn't really have a choice. I had to go through this, right? So you realize how strong you are when strong is your only option.